Hi, welcome back to my channel. Now let's talk about a concept that is fundamental for programming and computer science, the concept of a variable. What is a variable? When you write your computer program, you will be working with data, a set of values, right? But you will need a way to store that data temporarily while the program is running, so you can reuse these values and store them in memory. Well, that is exactly what a variable is for. A variable is a name that we assign to a location in our computer's memory, where we can store a value to use it in our program. So it's basically a name that we're going to assign to a particular location where the value will be stored. And we can use that name throughout our program. Let's see. Let's think of the variable as a box. It's not really a box in reality, but let's think of it as a box where we are going to store the value. When we define the variable in our code and the program is running, we will have the value stored inside that variable. And then if we need to use it, we can just use the name of the variable in our program and we will get the corresponding value. And if we need to, we can also update the current value with a new value. So we can update the value whenever we need to while the program is running. What is actually happening behind the scenes is that the variable is storing the value, right? But the value is actually being stored in a particular location in our computer's memory, temporarily while the program is running. So our program knows where to go to find that value. And then we can retrieve it from memory whenever we need to, whenever we use the name of the variable. The variable actually holds the location of the value, okay? It holds the location so we can go there, fetch the value, and then use it in our program. For example, let's say that right here we have a program with multiple lines of code, and right here we are using the variable multiple times. Let's think of these blue boxes as the variable. Right here we have our computer's memory, and whenever we use the name of the variable, we will be getting that value from memory. And of course, the value can be updated, so it's not necessarily the same value at all of these lines of code. And that is the basic concept of a variable. Remember, it's a way to store a value temporarily while the program is running. This is how we can define a variable in JavaScript. We write the keyword let, followed by a space, the name of the variable, an equal sign, and then the value that we want to assign, that we want to store. And we end the line with a semicolon, which are optional in JavaScript, but highly recommended. We can also use the keyword var instead of let, or use the keyword const instead of let or var. Each one of them has slight differences, and I will cover their differences in a video on the channel. So stay tuned for more information on these differences. But either one of these options is valid, okay? Usually we write let unless there is a specific reason to use var or const. So this would be the most frequent syntax for defining a variable in JavaScript. This is an example. We write let followed by the name of the variable, an equal sign, and then the value. In this case, we have a string with the content Nora. So we will be storing that string in memory and we can use this value whenever we need to by using the name of the variable in our program. Great, so that is the basic concept of a variable. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you in the next video.